Hello, Field Internet. Welcome to the second episode of Building This 40 Coaster. And holy cow, the first episode has done so well. Um, now, this is a few weeks since... Well, not really a few weeks. It's probably been about like a week and a half, maybe, since I finished the coaster. And um, I honestly didn't expect it to do, the video to do that well. I'm like, well, looking at um, the Arrow Hyper, really didn't do as well as I thought it would. So I was a little bit um, discouraged on YouTube for a little bit. I was like, oh crap, maybe I fell off, which, I mean, I was never there to begin with, I mean, the best video I have is that B original BM Hyper video from like, like, two years ago or something, I don't even know when, it was like, I think last year or something, I don't know, it was a while ago, and that got like 70,000 views, I was like, holy cow, why? I have no idea why that video did so well, it just did, and I don't really care. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the Menra Park came around, that series did really well throughout most of it, especially when we started putting time lapses, then it started going crazy, which is why you see time lapses right now, because originally I would just show you the finished product, and that's it. And those were the dark days, <laughs> let's just say. Um, yeah, those were the dark days. But yeah, anyway, we're giving this thing a military-esque theme, and it looks really nice. Um, I do like the finished product. You're going to actually see the finished product in, a mi in like 20 minutes, maybe, because there's only two episodes in the series. This is a very short series. Um, but next week, you will hopefully see the premiere of Brockton Landing, which is, the next, which is my new plant coaster park. This is the long-awaited sequel to Menor Park. And I'm finally doing it because I binned off this park for so long. I um, had this thing immediately scrapped. I was going, I was going to scrap it, but I came back to it because I had stuck two other parks, both of which I gave up on. One of the was one of them was one I came up while I was on with while I was on vacation after riding Lightning Rod. Um, that was a really good ride, by the way. Lightning Rod's amazing. Um, definite. It's I think my number four behind Skyrush. I do think Skyrush is better, but not my, it's pretty close. I love that first wave turn on Lightning Rod. On Lightning Rod. That was like the most shocking element to me because I thought that looked really like mediocre on the POV. I was like, wow, it goes through so slow. But it feels so weird and I love it. But yeah, um, but yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, Brockton Landing. So that releases next week, hopefully. It's going to be like Menor Park, except a little more focused on theming. I mean, currently, only one of the coasters that Bill actually is good theming, or has good theming. The second one, I'm, I'm working on another one. That one has pretty good theming. I do like that. However, the first one isn't really that good. <sighs> I'm tired. Um, yeah, this is a common theme in my videos. You'll notice I'm always tired. Um, <laughs> it's because I'm staying up way too late to record these. Um, this video, like, I was running out of storage to make this video, so I had, um, I think, like, I was down to, like, megabytes of storage. I was, like, 40 megabytes left. I was like, holy cow, where'd all my storage go? Um, it, and then this time lapse is just, like, 130 gigabytes of storage. It's, it's 130 gigabytes of video. It's so much time lapse. And this is just the theming, so this is one half, one half the build. And holy cow! This is probably I'm gonna say it. This is my best coaster I've ever built. I love this thing, and you will see the full cinematic tomorrow, which is in my timeline. I think five days from now, or in my in at my time, it's five days from now. But for you guys, it's tomorrow. So yeah, um. <laughs> Yeah, Saturday, July something, if I don't really know, Saturday, July, I think it's Saturday the 13th, it'll go up, could be a Sunday, yes, no, Saturday, I'm right, um, Saturday the, Saturday the 13th, this video, this, um, this, cinematic will go up with POV and stuff. It's going to be similarly formatted to the Icarus video, and but better because that video was kind of trash. Um, yeah, that video, like, unperformed. I built that coaster really, 
really stinking fast. Like, I don't even know how I did it so fast. It's not even, a, it's not a good coaster. It's pretty mediocre, in fact. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's not really that good. It's an Aero Hyper. I do like the ending, and I love the coaster sports. It looks amazing. I love that. However, there's not really much in it. There's not really much there. Um, so yeah, now we're focusing on theming. There's no on-ride theming. I mean, there's a ton, but that doesn't count as on-ride theming. There's just off-ride theming and ride area theming, and it's like, I'm very loose with the term theming. It's more like American theming. So like, sort of like Cedar Fair theming, except there's nothing on-ride. So, think of like, Banshee. That's pretty much what it is. It's like stylized, so it's a certain thing. Um, but yeah, uh, really like sort of like these military watchtowers. Like, so the name of the coaster is Ambush, and this is a bit of an interesting theme. So you're like, the coaster is supposed to be like a secret weapon, and you're supposed to ambush the your mission on the ride is to ambush your en the enemy base. Which I did not make very clear, but it's the whole point of why there's tanks. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it. It looks really cool. I um, really enjoy this building this coaster, and I'm glad I did it. Um, but yeah, um, what else is there to talk about? Planet Coaster 2. This is like, it's basically confirmed at this point that we're gonna have Planet Coaster 2. And. I mean, not basically confirmed, it's still possible that it's not, it's possible that it's not gonna happen at all, but I think it is, um, but yeah, um, for those of you who don't look at leak videos, but, or anything, um, the, what's it called, um, what is it called, um, a Twitter thing leaked, or Epic Games leaked a bunch of upcoming titles, supposedly, on the Epic DB or something, I don't know, um, what it's called, I don't really know, understand it that much, but apparently, it leaked, and a, a bunch of games were revealed, or, like, leaked, not revealed, I've said leaked, like, 15 times in this past few seconds, I'm sorry, but, like, you know, I'll get to my point, okay, um, but yeah, a bunch of games leaked, and one of those is Planet Coaster 2, suppose, one of those is Planet Coaster 2, not really supposed to be. Um, the question is whether or not it's real. It is probably real. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, we're 90% sure it's, everybody's, like, 90% sure it's real. Which is awesome, because, finally, this game has been, Planet Coaster has been going on for, I think, it was 2016, so that was eight years ago. This game has been going on for eight years ago. It has not received any content since, I think, like, 2019 or something. It's like proper, it's been a proper long time. Like, it's been a crazy long time since this game has gotten any content. And people still play it. Now, I'm gonna go through the evidence to see this Planet Coaster 2 right now, just cause why not. Um, uh, there was a, um, Frontier is releasing a, I believe two CMS games. And those are creative management simulation or something. Right, CMS, yeah, Creative Management Simulation, um, and those are basically just planet, planet games, so Planet 2, Planet Coaster, and that's it. Um, I'm a little confused on this because I'm pretty sure people are saying that Jurassic World Evolution 3 was the other one, which is releasing in 2026, I want to say, which will be, I think, either financial year 25 or 26, I'm pretty sure 26 it is. But yeah, so anyway, there's one plan, there's one CMS game releasing in financial year 2024, and they've literally said on stream that it's going to release in, 20, in 2024, so we know some game is coming in 2024, but they have not announced it quite yet, which is kind of interesting, but you know, they probably have a reason, they're probably just like waiting till August or something. Maybe they announce it on National Roller Coaster Day or something. I don't know. Um, that sure would make sense. That'd be cool. Um, <laughs> please do that. Um, 
Just give me some help. I really would like it too. But anyway, um, what were was I? Um, so yeah, they've got to announce it, and it's likely that it releases in November or December. Most of Frontiers games release in November. I don't know why. If someone could have let me on to as to why, then that'd be really nice. But I have no idea. So, for everyone to release all their games in November, they just do. It's kind of a thing. I don't know why. Um, yeah. So, um, we can expect that it's going to release in November. And I think it's going to be playing too. So, now, there's also more, more evidence. So, supposed evidence. I'm being like confused with that. So, this is like the evidence I've seen online that suggests it. It's not really conf confirmation or anything of that nature, but it's suggestive evidence, not really direct, if that makes sense. So, the game recently went on sale for, I think, like, two bucks or something. I'm like, wow, that is cheap. Um, and I, people are saying that it was possibly to get people on the game. And a bigger audience right before this right before they announced the new game which makes sense you want a big audience and it just makes a lot of sense so that's pretty much all i'm gonna say um <laughs> it just makes sense so yeah that and there was more there's more to it but i can't remember what it was um there was an update to the um graphics recently it was like a bug, which is interesting why they decided to fix that one specifically when they could have fixed all the other bugs in the game, like the, um, like randomly my table cars just get stuck floating and they don't disappear and until I reload the game. It's weird. I don't know why it does that. Um, that happened yesterday, actually. I was trying to add a cable car so back and landing and it didn't work because it was a weird spot, but, you know, it would be cool. Um, I was trying to like, actually, I'm not gonna spoil the entire part for you. You don't get to know that yet. Why am I talking? Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah. Point is, there's evidence for Lanka 2, and hopefully soon. Now, if that's the case, then Rockman Landing is most likely gonna be the last or second to last park I ever make on Planet Coaster. And the reason I say last or second to last is because I really have an idea for like a super janky park. Sort of like, um, what's it called? Um, um, crap, what is it? It's not Lost Island, that's a actually good part. It's, um, Wild Adventures. Um, or Wild Adventures, something like that. Um, I guess to a lesser extent, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but not really Blackpool. Um, Flamingo Land is, an, is one. Indiana Beach, that's what I was thinking of. Indiana Beach, that's the one I really want to do something inspired by. I just really want to make like a park like that. Mostly because I really want to make something like All American Triple Loop because classic short scoff looks cool. And I've never done a, a short scoff coaster in this game. Would you believe it? Uh, I don't know why I haven't. Well, actually, I actually do know why I haven't. I barely had this game back for like a year. I think I, I got it back in the last last January so a bit what I mean by I got it back is um, so I got the game on my laptop in like 2019 or something it was right before the pandemic started so I think it was 2019 it was like either early late 2019 or early 2020 that I got it but then um, yeah I got the game and then I um, and then, early in 2022, my computer just stopped working. I don't know why. I had a fix. I thought I was going to have any, a game, my games back. However, um, in fixing it, the guy who repaired it put a... Um, or I can't really say, like, the guy who repaired it. It was my parents' friend who repaired it. So I don't... I would feel bad at complaining that um, he downgraded the copy of Windows that I had. It's from... 64 bit to 32 bit. Why is my computer fan screaming? You can't hear it, but it's just screaming for a reason. But yeah, um, he downgraded the, the Windows copy, so I couldn't, um, I can't download my games anymore. Which the game I only game I really played on it at that point was Country Balls because that's the only game it could run. 
which is sad because I wanted to play some Planet Co and Planet Zoo. I don't even play Planet Zoo anymore. Like, I have it. I'm probably gonna play it. I, let me know if you want me to play Planet Zoo because I'm very much a coaster enthusiast. I, um, I'm not even gonna lie about that, but like, I might play Planet Zoo to try and get used to the stuff that they have in that before hopefully Planet Coaster Street comes out. It's entirely hypothetical, but like, let me know if you want me to try and play Planet Zoo. I don't really know if I want to. I haven't played it in forever, but you know, I might. Who knows? Um, but yeah. So where was I? Um, where was I? All right. So in 2023, I um, built a PC. Very good PC. It's like I spared spared no expense on this, except I definitely did spare some expense because I am 15. I don't have all the money in the world, so. Well, we got a 3060 Ti in there, which is still very good, you know. Can't really complain about that. It's a very good computer. And, yeah, um, I don't really know why I'm talking about this. I should be talking about the video. So, right now, we're just working on the maintenance shed. This is possibly the best maintenance shed I've ever made. Um, I love it. It looks amazing. I put so much detail inside of it, or more than I usually would. Just look at that. You have tires and stuff. I don't know why you'd have tires. Ooh, pair, spare motors, a giant lift motor. Yeah, I decided to delete the um the lift motor for every other one besides that first one because one you probably won't, a park probably wouldn't have a spare lift motor and two they if they have one they definitely would not have another. Um, I mean I guess Cedar Point had a backup lift motor for Millennium Force, so there is some precedent, but you know whatever. Um. <laughs> So yeah, um, where was I, um, so yeah, this is a very good maintenance shed, I really like it, um, I put a lot of effort into it, the bottom is definitely, looks a lot better than the top, but the top looks pretty good too, like, it's, I'm definitely gonna, like, steal some blueprints from this maintenance shed, that later on, I'm gonna, like, go back into this file, grab some stuff, and put it into Brock and Landing, and the future parks, um, future parks, um, the future park, because it's only probably only one more, um, then I'll go to Planko 2, and then I have a very cool idea for that, if it's a thing. Um, it depends on if it's a thing or not. Which I hope it is. I really hope it is, but, you know, if it's not, it's not, and I am perfectly happy on Planko 1. For now, at least, because if Planko 2 comes out, I'm going to be very crippled without my mods. <laughs> yes, holy cow, I use so much mods. This coaster is four minutes minutes, so actually this coaster doesn't really use mods. It might just for the um, profiling and stuff to get the stuff perfect, but maybe not because I did use eight meter pieces to start. But even then, you can't um, you can't really smooth it right with um, going down the four meter because it won't connect properly. I don't know. Um, you might be able to. There's probably ways, but you know I usually figure it out, um, but, yeah, um, yeah, and I'm just getting screenshots to show on Discord, because I'm weird like that, and gotta make, gotta show off the glamour shots, so, <laughs> yeah, who cares, it looks awesome, um, yeah, I love this thing, um, yeah, this, now we're building the lift motor, it's okay, it's, it's a lift motor, who cares, uh, I'm putting the cat all the catwalk stuff now, and then I think after this, all I do is just the station area, or the station, and then the, um, I redo the foliage, because I hate that foliage so much, it's so ugly, um, I don't know, it was such a pain to do, like, I was trying to make it look nice without overdoing the foliage, which is what I used to do, if you look in my console park, or my first console park, it is disgustingly awful. I have this. I have private that video. I don't want anybody seeing that. Um, the coasters are horrible too. But that's not the main reason. I just hate the look of the park. It just. I just overdid the foliage. And like, there's such thing as underdoing the foliage. Like, just making it barren and wasteland it looks disgusting. However, like, it goes both ways. You don't want to put too much. And. That part was just too much, and I was close to doing it here, too. Um, so yeah, 
it's like just putting too much down. It's just like you gotta like I like being able to see the plant go grass because while it's not perfect, the plant zoo grass is most certainly better. But like I don't know. Um, however, I did work. I don't like seeing the mulch either, which is why I was trying to cover up the grass. I mean the cover it up with foliage, and that leaves me overdoing the foliage. So I just gotta like you know sort of just get used to it. You know. You just gotta, like, build until you're content with it, I guess. But yeah, um, so my strategy here was just, um, color the mulch green, which took a lot more tinkering than, it, than you'd think, because the mulch is weird. Like, it's amazing. I thank you. I think it was Hydro or something. I don't know. I don't remember who made the mulch, but somebody did, and it's amazing. I use it so much. It's probably my, one of my most used TNT cases. Besides desk B and the um, what's the other one? The hydro beams. I use those a lot too. Um, what else do I use a lot? Mm, I use the everything in my main sheds are pretty much just TMTK. My station buildings, are, well, that entire roof is TMTK. Um, so yeah, I use a lot of Game Maker's Toolkit. Um, those fences are uh, actually I was pumped with these pieces. I use those a lot. Um, those t TMC get fences, uh, the concrete, the, um, danger keep outsides, I use those a lot. Those are all theme makers toolkit, so, I'm gonna be crippled without those in a future plant coaster too, if that's a thing, like I've said a bunch of times, if it's a thing, I'm gonna struggle, because there's, I'm gonna have no mods, unless somebody makes it, which I doubt they're, they will be, people will, because, the, only people who make mods don't play the game anymore. As I think. Um, that's why I'm pretty sure they don't just play, they don't play the game anymore. And yeah, they've rebranded the Discord server, but yeah. I'll um link a tutorial to how to download the mods. I'm not making one because I'm not good and I don't remember how to download them. Um But yeah, I don't have the reshade mod now that I think about it. I'm not gonna download it because I don't care enough to, but you know, yeah, I'm not gonna download the reshade mod. I think we're almost done with this. I think I'm going in a minute. I'm going to just let you guys listen to the music. Don't know how I rambled on for 22 minutes, but you know I have. Um, but yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. Not really much to say. Um. I sort of just rambled on. I don't know how I've done it. I talked for 22 minutes straight to nobody. Um. It's kind of weird. Um. Now, now that I think about it, but you know who cares? It's a me thing. I'm gonna let you guys go and listen to the Planet Coast music for the next five minutes because I'm not, I'm bored and I want to go. Oh no, I, right? Five minutes? Three minutes. Okay. Or it's just four minutes, whatever. Who cares? Um, I'm gonna let you guys listen to Planet Coast music now and I'm going to go turn off my mic and you guys can listen to Planet Coast music while I do whatever I want. I will see you guys in the real time bit, which I recorded like a week ago. Alright, see you in a moment.
Alright, so we have the finished product done now. Absolutely love this um this image. I based it off an AI image that I got from the copilot AI. It was the image was okay. I just wanted to have uh, I just like this one better, so and you know it's not really possible trace but it gave me so but yeah I think it looks good. This is somewhat inspired by the original Nemesis. Or, I guess it's not really the original Nemesis, I think the new Nemesis still has it, but it's inspired by Nemesis. This is entrance, that sounds so weird to say. But yeah, um, his name is, the 40 Coaster's name is Ambush. So named because you're supposed to be like ambushing an enemy base. And that's why there's these tanks around, because you're at your base. And this is just your secret weapon or something. Or your, like, army's military. Oh my goodness, I have four I think. This is your army's secret weapon that you're that they're going to use to attack the enemy for. So yeah. Um this is a pretty big area, so this didn't take a whole this took a few days to make. And I like it, so Alright, so this is the video copyright station. claim, so I'm gonna have to quickly voice over this. Um all I'm talking about here is that the station looks nice. I like the beams and I like the Q lines and that the air gates are timed on the other side so that it opens at the right time. Um, that time being 6.5 seconds after it hits the station, so it opens right after it parks. And basically, that's all I talk about for this moment. I do like the, uh, actually like the little ride-out booths, they look nice. Um, you can see that the air gates are a little slower than on that side than it is in the in-game ones, but that's fine, I don't really care. Um, yeah, um, what am I talking about next? I do like the overall design of the station, but yeah. Next, I think I'm talking about the ride photos. Yes, I am. I was right for once. So, I do. I did put actual ride photos in. It was a bit of a pain. Um, yeah. So basically, now I do. I did fix that um, little weird stuff with the flooring, um, and I also removed the um, speakers because it was getting copyright claimed. So, whatever. No ride area music. That's fine. I don't care. Yeah. Now all I'm doing is talking about the queue line. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Right near the gun. Go past the second tank. There's nothing back here. This would be something over here. I don't know what would be over here. So I just didn't put any foliage back there. Plus, I didn't want to overdo the foliage. So yeah. Then you enter this cattle pen. You get told to go one way or the other by the police officer person. So we're gonna go this way up the station. This is ramp right here. But if we go underneath this way. You go up these stairs, and you're up in the station, on the other side. So yeah, that was a pretty weird system to make, but you know, it works. Um, let's do the maintenance shed now. So you transfer into here, and then yeah, it does look really nice. I really like the bottom level. I did like, put effort into clutter it up with stuff. And it looks pretty nice, I like it. You know, you got spare parts on these shelves. Don't know why you'd have much tires, traffic cones, but you do. So, who cares? Um, there's these lifts in here, too. Like that. Um, so, yeah, the tunnel right here. Or, not really tunnel, it's a trench, really, but it holds the ride photos. Right here is a propane tank for the fire effects. Which, where's the train? It's my big. Oh, it's right there. Well, let's just watch it go through it, because I did the, the fencing as well. Not perfectly safe. You don't actually need fencing around the valley, so the valleys, because it's really high off the ground, so. Yeah, then you go to the overbank, which just looks sick right there. Not at, Flam not at Flamingo Land, but sick in general. Um, yeah, then you have the fire effect. Go into the trench. Yeah. Uh, you guys saw me do, do that, but yeah. That's pretty much it already. Um, let's look at it at night. Um, Um, yeah, so we, I did the night lighting, I gave it a cool lighting, lighting package, the lights are all on the sports and stuff, you can see them, sorta, and you can see it right there, they're all on the sports, and then there's the catwalk stuff, but that's not important. But yeah, it looks really nice, I want to make sure this thing's lit up, I didn't really bother to light up the valleys, just cause, there's no reason to. 
Yeah, down here, I especially didn't have any reason to light it up. There's just no point. Why is my... That was weird. Um, I mean, I kind of forgot, but... I didn't put on this... Ooh, I forgot to do that. Ooh, that's bad. I'll do that before I upload this. I forgot so much stuff. But yeah, um, that looks really cool. I actually really like that. Uh, let's just take a quick little screenshot. Um, Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. So yeah, the, um, thanks for watching, I guess. Um, I guess, yeah, thank you for watching. You didn't have to click this video, but you did, so thanks for watching. Um, I love doing this stuff, so if you want, if you want to see more of these builds, then please like, comment, and subscribe so I can have some motivation. And so you know when I upload. Mostly the first one, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. The full cinematic for this ride will come out like tomorrow, I think. I don't know when I plan to upload this. So I will see you guys in the next build.